I really want to build something that we can pass down and comfortably retire on. And I want that too, but I have a hard time looking past the immediate. You know, it's always sunshine and rainbows for me, and he's able to see the things that could go wrong in the future, and he kind of protects us from all that by being the rational. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. They got two kids? Living on $78,000 a year? Oh, no. I already know this is a disaster waiting to happen. They have two kids living on $78,000 a year. The devil is a lie. Anton, the average household median income is only $65,000, $67,000 a year. The individuals only make $78,000 a year and two kids. Mm. And they got two. Listen. And, and they swirling. Let me move this. Oh, man. Y'all said call Dr. Umar Johnson. I, this is Dr. Umar Johnson. And I repeat, snow bunnies are out of the equation. We don't want, this is Dr. Umar Johnson. We don't want to be hanging around women. We don't want our black men drinking gallons of milk. <laughs> Snow bunnies are out of the equation. Me, I like everybody. I like Asian, snow bunnies, black people, whatever y'all want to call yourselves. If you are a good person, Anton from AntonDaniels.com, I'll rock with you. Shout out to Aaron. Aaron says, uh, buy her some Reebok classics and she'll love you for life. <laughs> snow bunnies are out of the equation. No, 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 no. Ooh, this is about to be stressful. I can already feel it. Y'all about to have me on the plane stress. My name is Roberto Orellana, and I'm 24 years old. My name's Elena Burtis, and I'm 23 years old. 24 and 23. Together, we make $78,000 a year. And we live in Gillette, Wyoming. 24, 23, making $78,000 a year. All right, got it. Got it, buddy. Y'all about to have me stressed out on the plane. So right now, I'm headed to my job. And it's about... And you got a car note? I could tell you got a car note. Two minutes away. So you work two minutes I away. I usually wake up at you 5 walk. in the morning. My wife goes into work first. And then afterwards, I'll go in. I'll be in usually by 8 a.m. They 23 and 24 and got two munchkins. Ooh, sounding stressful. I didn't even have Leslie until I was 26. And then we made it intentional that we were only going to have one so that we wouldn't have to split resources in order to make sure that she was taken care of. I didn't know I was going to be rich, rich. I, I knew I was going to be rich. I didn't know I was going to be rich, rich, all right? He can walk. That's literally two minutes away. He makes $49,000 a year as a grant manager at a nonprofit for at-risk youth. Sound like he got a... Um, he probably got a basket weaving degree. You know, the thing about having those type of jobs is that when a recession hit and the economy is messed up and they start trimming, those type of jobs would be the first to go. I am not having another kid. She works at the same nonprofit as a youth advocate. Where did they meet at the same place? Don't you know that you don't, <laughs> Y'all gonna be like, Anton is so mean. <laughs> Yo, you don't fuck where you get the bag bust down at. Unless he just got her the job later. Where you don't you don't eat where you let me stop. Let me look at the whole story. I need to find out. So if one get laid off, they just gonna both get laid off if the place is going under. Okay. Okay. Shout out to Aaron. When was the last time he walked anywhere further than the kitchen? <laughs> Y'all, so, we savages over here. We are savages over here. She make $29,000 a year. So I work 630 to... Oh, look at that. Look at that portrait. <sighs> Anton, Anton, just relax. We're just relax. We're not here to judge people. We're here to look at their financial habits, okay? Let's continue. 
8.30, and then I go in again at 1 to 7. Wait, 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 wait. She said her calendar was what? Let me go back one time. 6.30 to 8.30, 630 and to then I go in again at 1 to 7. Whoa, what kind of schedule is that? She make $29,000 a year. She work from 6.30 to 8.30 a.m., and then she goes back in from 1 to 7. What kind of schedule is that? Oh, my God, that is horrible. That is the one of the worst schedules I've ever heard in my life. Why are folks scared to study hard stuff, useless degrees, chemistry was tough, but I knew it was worth it. For real. It's not even hard if you just work hard. All you got to do is study and put the time in. Shout out to Kelvin. I appreciate you for the five ball, bro. I don't know why they're so scared to do it, man. All right. Let me just hear their story. I'm not going to judge it. $78,000 for a family of four is poverty. I grew up in poverty and I spent I a decent amount of time homeless. And I had a number of operations to correct issues with my legs. Oh no, not them both having health issues. He said, uh, you can literally get a bike and pedal a few times and coast the rest of the way to work. Facts. Listen, if I worked two minutes away from where I stay, I'm not even jumping in a car at all. So wait a minute, you can't, no, nah, listen, you got to pick a struggle. You can't both have, have health issues. Not you getting corrected, now you regular, and then you pick somebody else that was on the struggle bus too. Uh-uh, uh-uh, no, 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 no. We're not combining our powers for health issues. Jesus. I don't even know. She got weak bones? My mom was a single mom, and so there was a little bit of turmoil there, especially with me and my <sighs> sister both having This is stressful. And they got kids. Condition. You get soft bones that bend. You get teeth that chip. She done had over 20 surgeries. Oh, man. I'm going to be honest with y'all. Y'all not going to like my assessment. Let me go ahead and take off this Rolex because I'm feeling a little bad for even wearing it right now, considering that I'm wearing his salary. <sighs> Some people, I'm going to just say it, I'm going to just say it, some people should not have kids. They got every bad genetic disorder that you can think of. She missed the glass. Y'all know who Mr. Glass is? Mr. Glass is uh, Samuel L. Jackson. That was in that movie with Bruce Willis and all of that. And She missed the glass. As soon as you, as soon as you touch her on the shoulder, she oh, and she fall over. He got, he formerly a cerebral palsy. Hopefully he didn't have a cleft. And then they gonna just had him a bunch of kids too. Come on, man. She, <laughs> have y'all ever seen that movie? What's the name of that movie where Samuel L. Jackson was Mr. Glass? Unbreakable, something like that. She missed the glass. He got cerebral palsy and they over here having kids. Listen, I'm not here to laugh. <laughs> oh my God. What is wrong with people? Jesus Christ. It's called glass. All right. All right. Oh. We didn't have a lot growing up. We were kind of broke, but we were never. I can't lot. listen. I can't help if I'm laughing. Listen, you don't. <laughs> you can't get mad at me for observing. I can't help what I laugh at. I can't help what I laugh at. I'm holding it in as best as I can. Jesus Christ. It just made me a really optimistic person. <laughs> Oh, no, not the Mr. Glass haircut. <laughs> oh, Lord, have mercy on me. Lord, please, please, God, don't don't judge me for this live stream. I did not know. What I was walking into. Oh, Jesus. Hold on. Hold on, y'all. Hold on one minute. Y'all got to stop sending me these videos. 
Y'all got us. Oh, man. <laughs> hold on, hold on. This man got the glass haircut. I'm looking at Samuel L. Jackson right here. Tell me that ain't him. Tell me that ain't Mr. Glass. I'll wait. Tell me that ain't Mr. Glass. I'll wait. This man is Mr. Glass. Look at this. He went Mr. Glass on us. Y'all got to stop sending me this foolishness, yo. Oh, man. This is what the name of this show is going to be. Mr. Glass. I'm changing the name of this show. That man went full glass on me. Oh, Jesus. God, help me. Not before I get on a plane. Not like this. Not like this. All right. We have some more to get through. Okay. I'm here to judge their financial decisions. I'm not here to judge them as individuals. And he got a full ride, okay. I studying early childhood education and I did not finish that out. She went to childhood education and she never finished. So we all know that women are the most enrolled. They met up at a coffee shop, okay. He shot a shot at the coffee shop. We realized we both had gone through a lot of the same experiences. We both had had the same surgeries. That's and we really Bernstein. connected over. That's not, not trauma binding. That's trauma. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute, ma'am. Don't tell me y'all was over there trauma bonding. Not off the trauma bonding coffee. Oh, Jesus. We realized we both had gone through a lot of the same experiences. We both had had the same surgeries. Oh, no. And we really connected Not over connected that. Over and surgery. our personalities just really meshed well together. I don't know. It was fate. <laughs> Not trauma bonding. Oh, my God. He graduated with a bachelor's in chemistry. They moved to Wyoming so he could pursue a PhD. I decided to go get a PhD. I didn't finish that. And that's really because I didn't realize all that it entailed. I was- Oh, sir. Oh, now I missed the glass again. Oh, Jesus. And he, and, and, since he got married, he didn't put on some weight. Neither here nor there. Also raised to believe that you had to get a terminal degree to be successful. And as I grew up, I really realized that you don't have to do that. You can be successful in so many other ways. That, hold on, first of all, stop putting up these old pictures. That is not him no more. Do not use old pictures. Give me an updated picture. Stop using these old pictures. All right, this is what we're going to get to. This is what I want to I did see. not come from a family that really budgeted. Oh, the money make them Olympics already. He tracks every penny. All right. And I do it in like a proper accounting software. It's really to an extreme extent, but it brings me joy and I find it comforting to All know right. exactly where Let's see this budget, is. buddy. So when I go to the store, I just look at the budget and I go, okay, right, this is on it, this is not. And so I can just slowly cross things off. I make sure to keep my receipts. Right now, I think we're down to a comfortable four hundred and fifty dollars a month on groceries. And I think. Wait, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute. Let me break this down. Let's look at this really quickly. So we got thirty-seven dollars in subscriptions. Not a cat. Not a cat. Get rid of that cat, buddy. You can't afford no cat. You got two children. $90 on phones, $340 in discretionary, $550 on food. That's bullshit. I know you spending more than $550 on food. Boy, if you don't get your... Boy, if you don't get your... I spend more than $550 on food. I'm lying on my budget. That is BS. They spent... Listen, they have... It's, it's four of them that are in the household. He's, he's clearly... Listen, I know. I picked up weight. 
He's spending more than $550 on food. That is BS. Uh, a little way stop the cat, bro. He picked up a whole person. <laughs> Anton, you'll have a person in big trouble for inappropriate public laughter. I'm over here with aching sides. I can't go nowhere with you. Shout out to C. I'm just telling it like it is. Yo, listen, this is all cut the cap. That's the first lie. You spending more than $550 on food with four people and I see you. You eating, eating. He eating, eating. Y'all see his uh, before and after photos? Boy, you lying. You lying on your food. Transportation. Dummy. $800 a month in transportation. Let's see what that look. Let's what that's about, what that's based on. Look at them. Subscriptions. Xbox Game Pass. <laughs> Xbox Game Pass. All right. So transportation. Let's see. Cars and gas. This boy is spending eight hundred dollars a month on transportation, and he lives two. They both live two minutes away from their job. Now, how does that work? Somebody help me to understand why you're spending eight hundred dollars. You make seventy eight thousand dollars a year, right? You're literally spending ninety six hundred dollars a year on transportation and you work two minutes away. How is that possible? I'm <laughs> Melanin Swag says, Anton, you ain't right, bro. Why does this make sense? Y'all tell me how this makes sense. How do y'all compartmentalize it? $800 a month, $9,600 a year, and car, car notes and gas. And he, and he lives two minutes away from where he works. And they both work at the same place. Duh. Uber Eats premium subscription. <laughs> he don't even pay no gas. What are they driving? Bruh. That is so off. All right. So let me look at the rest of this stupid budget. Insurance, $1,100 a month, which includes health, dental, vision, and car insurance. Listen, his total transportation costs are even more because they then have to pay car insurance. The majority, I bet, I would be, I'm more than willing to bet that the, that car insurance probably eat up about three, $300 a month because listen, first of all, they're under the age of 30, under the age of 25, under the age of 28, which means their car insurance is out of control out of control they probably spend an eleven hundred dollars a month on transportation they can save that right off the bat that's over twelve thousand dollars a year dummy they eleven hundred dollars a month in insurance dependent expenses what is dependent expenses what the fuck is wrong with this budget daycare and diapers listen y'all think about this twelve hundred dollars a month in daycare and diapers That's like $15,000 a year. So think about it. If they making 78, y'all keep telling me I'm off, but my math, the math ain't mathing. If you're making $78,000 a year together, he budgeting every single penny. He's spending $15,000. Let's just say 14, five, 14, five and daycare and diapers. Daycare. You already listen without even taking taxes out. You already cut 15,000, 14,500 out and then take another another $13,000 a year just for transportation. This is stupid. This is dumb. Mortgage and utilities 1317, they got to pay that. This is the dumbest thing that I'm the math is just not that. It's, it's not mathing. And I a large part in that is that we're following a diet called the carnivore diet right now. We're not following it super strictly though. In our oh, not the carnivore diet. Fam, you ain't looked at yourself. Look, well, come on. Jesus Christ. What is this? A practical joke? They literally aired this on. Is this a pra This motherfucker said I'm on a carnivore diet. If this dude don't get to fasting. Oh, my Jesus. Preach, preach on that budget, bro. Financial planning is a must. Shout out to my dog pocket watching with JT. JT, this is a disaster. This is a disaster. 
They make $78,000 a year, four people in a household. They spend in at least $12,000 a year on a car and car insurance for a job that they live two minutes away from. They spend in fourteen, five, fifteen thousand dollars $15,000 a year on two kids that they can't even afford. And these fuckers are on a carnivore diet. What the hell am I looking at right here? Shout out to Persevere TV. I think they just gave the numbers up that added up. This, the math ain't mathing. The math is not math. And we're not even talking about taxes or anything. These fuckers said I'm on a carnivore diet. Hold on. Okay. Let me not be so mean. Let me be a little bit more objective. Maybe I don't know what the carnivore diet is. She just pulled out a bunch of meat. That's why your bones so brittle. Eat some vegetables. Jesus Christ. Groceries. And I think a large part in that is that we're following a diet what? called the carnivore diet right now. We're not following it super strictly though and our kids are on a perfectly normal diet. So we still get other items. A carnivore diet? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me make sense of this, Freaky Jason. They also spend $100 a month on entertainment and fun activities. So basically, they buy video games, okay? The, what is the carnivore diet? Somebody tell me what the carnivore diet and help me to understand this. This is retarded. I hate to use that word, but this is just stupid. Oh, my God. Y'all want to live like this? We love to play video games, and we enjoy watching movies every now and then. I think my biggest hobby would probably be my saxophone and my guitar, most of which was self-taught. I have no thoughts on this. I don't care. This is stupid. We knew right away that we would want kids. We looked at all the expenses that you have for kids, but we were like, oh, well, we can do this. We really didn't realize how expensive kids were, and we didn't realize that our daughter would be sick. Is this a bad joke? She said, we didn't realize how expensive kids would be. And we didn't know that our daughter would be sick. Y'all two walk walking. You missed the glass. He. <sighs> how didn't you know that when you combine your powers. That you would create. More crazy. You literally are passing, you're combining bad genes together to create more bad genes. And y'all trying to tell me, y'all literally are telling me that everybody deserves kids. That you can just comfortably live a lifestyle of $78,000 a year and that's just cool. They can't breathe. He's literally talking to you and he's saying, I, they, not one thing, let me rewind this budget real quick for y'all. Not one thing in his budget says savings. Not one thing in his budget said investments. Not one thing in his budget. Where do you see it at? They out here playing video games. They buying cars that they don't need. They over here having kids that they ain't supposed to be having because first of all, they both is crazy and they both got health issues. And secondly, they don't truly understand the cost that go into it. But that was the first conversation that they had is, yo, we want to have kids together. We knew that. If we ain't know nothing else, we knew that I, as soon as you touch me, can have some kids and I'm, my bones is brittle. And him, he over here walking around with cerebral palsy, driving cars. Ain't one thing in here that say investment, savings, retirement, 401k, Roth IRA, nothing. Not one thing in here. I see subscriptions, cats, phones, discretionary, food, transportation, insurance, dependent expenses, and mortgage and utilities. Somebody point to me where I, where I see any kind of investment, savings, anything anything this is dumb i'm gonna be honest listen i know that they walking around being crazy and got health issues i'm that's the nice version of me the mean the real version of me is say i know y'all walking around dusty dusty like a box of powdered donuts being stupid and these this is the life that y'all want to live he penny pinches every single thing that he has I would venture to say, as crazy as these two people are, that this is more common than not. I would venture to say, as crazy as these two people are, this is more common than not. Came to mind, it says, uh, Jesus, Lord, I'm, <laughs> I'm behind in the stream. I choke my... <laughs> when you say, wait a minute, they got two kids on 78K and they swirling. 
You are not right, sober, sir, but you're right. I am so right. I'm right. Shout out to Brock. He says, bro, this got to be a comedy skit. It can't be real. That's what I'm thinking. Anton, I appreciate those morning shows. As a bag chaser, they need to join the Patreon ASAP. They need a coaching call like yesterday. Whew. Kingdom Minus says, I can't take it. This is, this is getting worse. I don't know if I'm going to be able to finish this. Chris says, this is why you plan before you start a family. $78,000 a year. You should have at least 23, 30% save per year towards savings and an investment account. Listen, they increased the thresholds on your 401k for you to be able to contribute 10, I mean, 20,500. They moved it up from a 19,5 to 20,500 and the Roth IRA, they kept it at the same. Listen, if you make $78,000 a year and you're contributing for one person, that means because we ain't got to worry about taxes, right? On Roth or on 401k contributions. I would prefer y'all do um, Roth 401k contributions, but let's just say we're going to do 401k, right? If you contribute into that every year, right off the bat, they at $58,000 a year. Right off the bat, you at $58,000 a year to share between four people. That is poverty. Poverty. With the average rent at $2,000, even that $100,000 ain't looking right. That ain't even looking right. All right, let me go ahead back to their carnivore diet. These kids is eating like savages and they over there playing video games and they got no savings or nothing. Well, we love to play video games and we enjoy watching movies every now and then. I think my <sighs> biggest hobby would probably be my saxophone and, and my guitar. Most of we knew right away that we would want kids. We looked at all the expenses. I could have predicted to kids, you that these kids was going to be basic. But we were like, heads. oh, well, we can do this. We really didn't realize how expensive kids were. And we Inflation didn't killing them, too. <gasps> and they got little kids, too. Oh, say it ain't so. You didn't know that your daughter was going to be walking around as. Minor glass. You miss the glass. They minor glass. Jesus Christ. I can't do this, y'all. Y'all got to stop sending me these videos. I can't fucking do this. I'm not about to do this. I'm not about to nuke these base heads right here, man. I don't care how... <sighs> Christ. Oh, my God. And who gonna have to pay for it? Me? You? Everybody that's high earners that pay the majority of the taxes. Top 5% pay the majority of the taxes in the United States. Oh, you didn't know that your kid was going to be walking outside with a walker all of a sudden out there like minor glass. And I'm supposed to be, I'm, I got to be the nice one. Is that what y'all telling me? I got to be the nice one. Okay, let's get through the video. I can't do it. Mr. Glass and minor glass. It was just kind of young and childish and thinking, oh, we can do this. And well, we did. We made it work. Jesus Christ. Budget wise, her medicine is quite expensive and not all of it is currently covered by our insurance. But dumb, we also dumb, have to dumb. continue paying because we need the coverage for dumb, da, da, dumb. That come up. And then let me tell you what they're gonna do. They're gonna blame the federal government and it's gonna be Trump's fault, it's gonna be Biden's fault. It's going to be the system's fault. Why is medicine so high? Why did we... Listen, nobody told you to have kids. Nobody told you to have kids. This is your fault. This is your fault. Nobody told you to have kids. You out here walking around acting like a box of powdered donuts because you dusty, dusty now. Oh, God. This is so dumb. Of course. Oh, did I not predict that? Now, listen, look, here's here's the play. This is the play. Eat the rich. The rich need to pay more in taxes to make up for these people that's running in the victim Olympics. Now they're giving out grants. The Build Back Better plan. We're going to get more, more victim Olympics. Listen, man. Ugh. Oh. I wish I could run this world. I wish I could run this world. We would absolutely positively just completely remove all, all problems. It's going to be a simple solution. It's going to take some, some, some very, very tough times, but we're going to remove all of the foolishness. 
Jesus Christ. This is y'all tax dollars. Oh, my God. I'm about to throw this across the room. I'm literally about to throw this across the room. I can't finish this video. I can't finish this video, y'all. This is so dumb. Oh, my God. I'm so broken, man. They work for a nonprofit agency, and then a nonprofit agency got to help them pay their medical expenses. <sighs> Jesus Christ, Lord, help me, Lord. Bless me, be a fence. Bless me to say the right things and not to say nothing so egregious. Please, God, don't let me do it. Uh, Kingdom Mind, it says, I don't cuss, but Anton, you ain't sugar, honey, iced tea. They partying off of the earned income credit. This is the dumbest thing that I've ever seen. Of all of these videos that I've been reviewing so far, this is the dumbest. While me and my husband are both at work, the kids go to Jesus the daycare. Christ. Daycare for both of our girls costs about $1,100 a month. It was really hard to justify, but... Look at this dumb. Daycare offers a lot. They have a before school program and an after school program. So now they latchkey kids too. Now they latchkey kids. She goes to work so that she can pay for daycare. Now, make it make sense for me, Freaky Jason. Make that math math. She goes to work so that she can pay for daycare. She go to work from 6.30 a.m. to 8.30 a.m. And then 1, 1 p.m. to 7 p.m. Make that math math for me, y'all. So, in theory, our kids can continue to go to this daycare all the way through elementary school. Oh, Jesus, Lord, help us. Please be offense, God. Do not tell me I'm looking at what I'm just looking at right now. Now they purchased a home with zero down. Let me guess. You're paying private mortgage insurance now, too. Fucking A. Okay. Oh, freaky Jason. I can't believe that y'all even feel comfortable saying anything to me at all, at all. I don't want nobody ever in life, unless you come for all of these people that's running in the victim Olympics, don't say nothing to me about what Anton wearing, what he buying, how much money he's spending. I don't want to hear nothing. I don't want to hear one word from anybody to say anything to me at all. Y'all please help me to understand how this makes sense. I'm stressed. I'm stressed. I'm stressed out of my mind right now. How is this possible? Real talk. Persevere Data TV says, <laughs> damn, I'm paying for the Xbox and carnivore meals. Yes, you are. Welcome to the Victim Olympics. Sheesh, this is real, real fumble Friday-ish. Absolutely. Okay, now I'm mad. Absolutely, me too. How does this make sense? Are y'all reading what we looking at on the screen? Let me just, I'm gonna just stand up for the rest of this one. So our mortgage is a little over $1,000 a month and the interest rate is about 2.625%. It's a three bed, one bath house. You know, They need a coaching huge. session, Alequandria. Like pretty modest house. Look at all that cat food. Look at all that cat food. Oh, say it ain't so. A 30-year mortgage. I could have guessed it. So much to want to protect. I'm going to do everything in my power to make sure that they have this home to grow up in. You can't even walk down the stairs, ma'am. You missed the glass. Oh, oh man. Y'all just, they just wanted to make sure that they stressed me all the way out on this plane. Let's see. He don't have no student debt. She got to pay off $2,300. <sighs> we were paying that off right now. It's frozen because of uh, the pandemic and everything. But Jesus we'll go back Christ. to paying that off and we're going to pay it off pretty quickly.
no, no, no. I can't do it. Say it ain't so. This could quite possibly be the dumbest thing that I've ever seen in my entire life. Could quite possibly be the dumbest thing that I've seen in my entire life. Shout out to L. Will. Please, please, how much longer is this video? Let me see. Two minutes. Two minutes and I'm gone. Out of this video. We plan to really take care of them and keep them as long as possible. Wait a minute. They got more than one car? They got more than one car? Fucking A. Once we pay off these cars, it's just going to free up so much money that we'll be able to save, invest, and pay off the house with. Oh. We don't really have a savings account. That's something we're planning to do in the immediate future. Right now, all the money that we have left over has really been put towards tackling the debt on the cars to get. What do y'all want from me? What do y'all want from me? This fucker says we has we have nothing. We have nothing, not a zilch, zero, nothing. We got two kids that's walking around like Mr. Glass and Mr. Mrs. Glass. I'm base, I'm base headish. He a crackhead. We ain't got no money. We on a carnivore diet. We got two cars with two car payments. No savings. Listen, 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 listen. Get that out of the way because that will free up so much money in the future. This is the dumbest thing that I've ever had. This is so stupid. So right stupid. now we don't have any sort of investment accounts. <sighs> Jesus Christ. Somebody get this couple over here and get a coaching call so I can cuss him out. Somebody get this man over here to get a coaching call so I can cuss him out. Please, y'all, please, please don't stress me out like this with another video. I need a weekend off because this ain't right. Look at that. Man. I think the circumstances that I was in put me in the mindset. They also made your I needed contributors to, to Omar as school. Far remove myself <laughs> from those circumstances as physically possible. His short term goals is to make fifty thousand dollars a year. He make forty nine thousand dollars a year, but his short term goal. OK, hold on. Maybe I'll miss, maybe I missed something. Maybe I missed something. One of his short-term goals is to make $50,000 a year, right? Let me rewind it. He makes $49,000 a year. And his short-term goal is to make $50,000 a year. What the fuck are we looking at right now? I listen, I got a good memory relatively. I remember what we said. When it, the math is not math in here, buddy. <laughs> I got 50 more seconds. It's not going to have an impact on our lives, really, but it will have the psychological impact of that where I'm halfway towards six figures in my own income. <laughs> <laughs> he said it's gonna have a psychological impact and that he's halfway at six figures <laughs> i'm not doing this i'm done that's it for me i got nothing for you i'm that's it i have nothing else left that was the cherry on top i'm putting my rolex back on i am I'm putting my Rolex back on. Now I have a, listen, this gives me the psychological effect that I have a salary on my wrist. This is me putting my salary on, on his wrist, on his salary on my wrist. Jesus Christ. Spare the ride, spoil the child. Should have got more whoopings when they was coming up. This is full of the devil. The devil is a lie and the truth ain't in you. That's what they used to say at church. Let him have his way. <laughs>
tabernacle. Hallelujah. Jesus. Do it anyway. I can't do it. Listen, I got a flight to catch. I do love y'all. Y'all played a practical joke on me today, sending me that's BS. Uh, if you are not a part of the Patreon, link is in the description as well as pinned to the top of the chat. Thank you for rocking out with me. I'm stressed now. I was supposed to have a good Friday, and I'm over there looking at their finances, stressed out about their finances more than he is. And he talking about I want to make $1,000 more so that I can have a psychological victory of making half of six figures. Boy, if you don't get your... Jesus Christ. I love y'all. I do. But y'all don't love me today. Y'all don't love me today by sending me that video. No Fumble Fridays. Fight Club is tonight. Make sure you hit a like for the YouTube algorithm. Subscribe to the channel. If you need a coaching call, call Pocket Watching with JT. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. <sighs> Only smart thing he did was no student loans. And only that wasn't even his doing. That wasn't even his doing. I bet you the Victim Olympics Fund gave him that. I bet you. I'm riding first class. I see y'all on a first class flight. And, I'm a, and I am vlogging as usual. Peace. Do me one more favor before y'all get up out of here. Hit a like for the YouTube algorithm. Share this with your family and friends so they can be stressed out just like me. Um, I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. Fight Club tonight. I'm going to holler at y'all later. I love y'all. Y'all better start loving on me too.